Hi, my name is Ani Rajendran. I'm from Swinburne University of Technology, and today my presentation is titled, If Hell Was Cold, It Would Be On Mars. Now, before I was a researcher, I used to be a human factors engineer. It was my job to make the technology, to use technology as a tool to help improve the lives of humans here on Earth. One of the very first technologies I ever developed was for a man called Jeff. I used to work for Jeff. Now, Jeff, his passion in life was to go fishing. He loved fishing. It was the reason that he got up in the morning. Unfortunately, Jeff was in his 80s, and he was losing a lot of his buddies to old age. I really wanted Jeff to be able to do the thing that he loved to do the most for as long as he could. So I made him a tackle box that used some technology that connected up to the Wi-Fi and read the weather conditions, which basically told him when it was a good time to go fishing, so high tides and low winds. And this enabled Jeff to do the thing that he loved the most. I'm really glad that he was able to do it. And the last time I spoke to Jeff, he told me that he was now going fishing way more than he had before. Unfortunately, we lost Jeff last year, but I'm really glad that I was able to change his life. Now, the very same technology that, used, that was used in Jeff's tackled box is now gonna be used to help make the Martian a reality. So you're probably wondering, what is it like on Mars? Well, I can tell you from a personal experience that Mars has the most beautiful landscape of canyons and mountains in the most, red, rich, the most rich oxidizing red. And the sky is the most beautiful smoky amber hue. And as you stand there feeling heavy in your boots, you think, well, maybe you heard a light breeze and you feel it push up against you. And my friend, it's a good thing that you're wearing your spacesuit because if you weren't, you're about to find out exactly how cold it was out there. Because you see, for all the beauty of Mars, it could be your worst nightmare. You see, Mars is a moving target. Sometimes it's close, sometimes it's far, and it has a communication delay of up to 40 minutes. And moreover, Mars is notorious for its dust storms, which are completely unpredictable, and we can't predict when they're gonna occur or how long they're gonna last. And so what we need is technology that can mitigate some of these problems. Now, I've been working with astronauts to create sensors which are able to predict when you're gonna get sick, manage emergency situations, and even potentially reduce some of the environmental effects that Mars could have on humans. So you're probably thinking, if Mars is so dangerous, why do we wanna go there? Well, the most obvious reason is that it's cool and exciting. And of course, it's ingrained in our human DNA to want to explore and be curious and answer these questions like, what is it like over there? And what does it smell like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? And these are the very questions that the robots that we send to Mars can't answer for us. And so we must go there. Now, I truly believe that Mars is the final frontier. I believe that if we can get to Mars, we can achieve anything as a human race. We can cure cancer. We can fix climate change. Heck, we might even resurrect the dead. And so if that happens, well, we're gonna need more space. And luckily for us, we have an entire vacant planet right next door. Thank you.